power of God. Cancer of the brain. Come here. This is the daughter. Remember I carried a magazine with me when I came up? I remember this case, Miss Coomin. Uh, yes. Come here, and you, this yes, is your I do. mother, honey. You carried a magazine. Well, I carried a magazine with her picture on the cover and asked you to pray that the Lord would, would save her soul. And, and she, well, what do you do, honey? I was a model, but I've given my life to Christ. You were a model, and you've given your life to Christ. Yes, I'm trembling. She says, I'm trembling. I am trembling. Did all of this happen through your mother's wonderful healing? Honey, really? This is what we discussed in the clinic today. God uses the healing of sick bodies for the salvation. I dare say you would never have accepted the Lord. Had, no. Had it not been for your mother's wonderful healing. Tell us what it did to you. I don't think I can talk with you. You mean because you're shaking? I'm, I'm trembling. It's all... I mean, you all know from what you've all seen that the power of the Lord is too much to talk about. It really is. The Holy Spirit is too much to talk about. It's, it's a miracle. And people use the word so lightly, but, but it's not to be used lightly. And miracles aren't something you can stand up and really describe, at least I can't. I'm just, I'm just so grateful. I just pray that you all really feel the power of the Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit. And that you all recognize this is a reality. This isn't something staged or organized. I lived with my mother. I brought her to New York City because she was dying. She weighed 98 pounds or 104 pounds at different times. And I brought her to my apartment in New York City. I was a fashion model. You can see my picture on old dishes of Vogue or Harper's Bazaar or Lady Sun Journal. I was making $75 an hour. I thought the Bible was a crashing bore, and I didn't want to hear about Jesus. Right. And then I saw my mother healed. That was the first thing. And then the Lord just started dealing with me. And one day, believe it or not, I was sitting in a studio in front of Irving Penn's camera, working, doing the September issue for, for Vogue. And the Lord said, I want you right this minute. And so I got up and I walked out. And I said, <laughs> Wonderful to see them embrace because of the love of God. Well, I'd like to say also that uh, Brother Wilkerson was praying at the same time my mother had written and come into the pier, and that you people here were also praying for me and for my daughter. And we've been in touch with no people in New York City. We've been completely isolated. I can understand why. Yes. I gladly give my life to him. Yes. And what you just said is profound. Not really. I want to say one thing, though. There's something very important about Jesus. When Jesus was in Gethsemane, the Pharisees came, and they, they wanted to take him, and, and somebody smite off somebody else's there. I really don't know the story. But Jesus said, you don't take my life. I give it. And this is true of Christians. Jesus doesn't sort of, as I said, he grabbed me out of a sitting. But it wasn't something I was forced to do. It's, it's love. It's the love of the Lord. And I'm sure you all, I mean, you wouldn't be here if you didn't know the love of the Lord. And it's, it's not something that's taken from you. It's something that you give. You want to serve Jesus. You want to give your life. Because there's no other way. There really isn't any other way. Is there? Is there? No, there is no other way. Amen. There's no other way. Praise God. And it's something that's so sacred. And it's something so wonderful. The power of God's on your mother just now. The power of the whole thing. It's something that's so sacred, beloved. Don't ever let this become common to you. Never. I beg of you, please. Don't let this become common to you. Don't let the Holy Spirit become common to you. Don't let Jesus become ordinary to you. 
These wonderful spiritual experiences are so glorious. Don't speak of them in a light way. They're priceless treasures. They're things you can't speak of. Those experiences are so priceless. That's why when they ask me questions, how do I know and what takes place? I feel it's almost a sacrilege to talk about to these things. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. In this place just now is the moving of the Holy Ghost the same power that moved upon Jesus and was manifested during his ministry. The same person through whom Jesus offered himself to be given before God gave him. We stand here at this moment and we give ourselves again all over as a living sacrifice unto you. Love is something you do and we love you enough that we're sorry there's not more that we can give you. It's so small. And Father, I stand here and I dedicate this life to you to be used for your glory, literally. The power of the Holy Ghost comes upon this one. Use this life for your glory. You'll feel that which we yield unto you. We give ourselves unreservedly unto you to be used for your glory. We withhold nothing. We withhold nothing from you. Can I say one more thing? I just want to say one more thing. I think the only kind of Christian there is in this world is a totally committed one. I don't think there's any other way. And Jesus said, Choose ye this day whom thou shalt serve. Jesus isn't just miracles. He isn't just healing. It's a lot of other things. Yeah. And you have to find out what those things are. But you can't say, Jesus, I want to use you as a checkbook or a Kleenex or to heal my wounds and then put you away. It has to be every minute of every day. It has to be a hundred percent. It has to be. And you must know this. And why would anybody want to live any other way anyway? Amen. Amen. Miss Kuman, I happen to know these people, they call me from New York. And they have made that kind of dedication. She's made that kind of dedication. She turned down some real important contracts because she believed that there were certain things Christians couldn't do. I believe God already has made it up to her. I do too, Ralph. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God is so faithful. Wonderful Jesus, thou hast spoken. The Holy Spirit hath spoken through lips of clay. This, my friend, is real. The Holy Spirit hath spoken. We can talk about consecration. We can have our seminars and talk about surrender and consecration, but beloved, it's more than just a matter of discussion. You've seen one tonight who has made that full surrender. That's it. My mother said she'd never talked in an audience like this before in her life, but the Spirit of God was on her. This is holy ground in here. If we'd have a benediction right now and leave this place, not one of us could possibly be the same person that we were before we entered this place. Not one. 
We're living in the last days and he's pouring out of himself upon all flesh. Men and women from every walk of life, you know what I'm talking about. This is glory in here. In just this moment, what is this over here? Come here, Maggie. Come here. I don't know. Looking at you, I don't know which one we got the healing. This is another one from Canada, Miss Cooley. He's from Canada, and he had cerebral palsy. His knees were bent down. Now he can straighten them. He can lift his leg. He can uh, bend over. He can stand on his toes, and he's the happiest boy here tonight. Which one have you got this healing? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus has the power of... Praise God. They both went under. <laughs> <laughs> You know, every person that came with this group from Canada received the spirit in these meetings already. That's what it's I'm been beautiful. You. Look, the power's still on him. I don't the know whether he's getting up or not. The so strong on this lad. This is the power of God on this lad. Look at this. He, how old are you, honey? 17. Are you 17 years of age? Yes. Stand straight right now. Have you never stood like that in your life? No, I never have. You have never. And what is it the doctors say you had? Cerebral palsy. How long ago did you have it? Since I was born. Were you born with it? Yes, I was. Most of us around here, Miss Koopman, have seen him walking. So we know he's been here during the whole clinic. Pick up your legs right now. Now the other one. Now the other one. Now the other one. <laughs> That smile on his face. You mean you could not have walked like that? He walked on his toes. He walked on his toes. You mean you could not? Is this the first time that your feet have been flop on the yes, ground? without trying real hard. Now it's hard to stand on my toes. <laughs> you, you mean now it's hard to stand on your toes? Right. And before you had to walk on your toes? Yeah. Walk again. Put your full weight of your... Yeah, look. That's right. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? That's right. Come down hard so everybody can... That's right. Come down. Is this the first time since... Well, never in your life have you ever walked like this? Never. In your whole life? Never. What happened to you? I was sitting in that chair, and all of a sudden, I felt real funny, and I... I can't explain it. Stop on again. This is still harder. Now the other one. Do you see that your legs are straightening now? Yes. You see that? Come on, walk with me a little. That's right. That's right. Come on. She's walking with him around the auditorium. sure this is you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not quite sure whether this is you or somebody else, huh? Look how straight uh, these legs are. And, and you've never walked like this. Never. In your whole life. Never in my whole life. And you're how old? Seventeen. God bless you. God. Oh! The power of God came on him again. <laughs> the power of God on this lad again. How many have to admit this is God? Put up that hand. What is this? Seema, you said it started yesterday, the healing, and finished today. The healing started yesterday. The yes. power of God will continue on this lad. Look at this. That's just power. He's out. <laughs> yeah, I know. And look at those legs straightening. Look at those legs straightening. Emphysema and the healing started yesterday. Yes, you mentioned the first thing of the service, and I didn't think it was for me, and then all of a sudden the Holy Spirit hit me. And the people all sitting around me knew it was for me also. And uh, so last night, I went, we, we didn't have time to eat, so I came to the evening service, so I had a chocolate bar, which I'm no, not supposed to have, and I didn't cough. No, nothing bothered me, and then I went home, and I, that's the first night in about two years I haven't had medication to sleep. 
And then this morning, I took a sister home that had been at meetings all, all uh, a week. I came from Canada also, but she... This, I Are took you the, a Canadian? Yes, I'm with this, uh, with this fellow and, and this other fellow that had, his, had flat feet. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are Baptists, Miss Kuhlman. Are you Baptist? Praise the Lord. <laughs> you are. So this morning, this, the, the lady, when, when, when she fixed breakfast, she didn't know that I was not supposed to eat eggs either. So she, well, a great big whomping pile of eggs and milk. I'm not supposed to be drinking milk. And I haven't been coughing either. Nothing's wrong. See, that's just, just the Holy Spirit. Just had a bit of pain tonight. First thing you mentioned was lung condition again. And you said you already received your healing. And, all, and, and the pain and everything went away. And how long had you had this? Two years. My lungs have been burnt with sulfur. Ah. Uh, and you're doing everything you could not have done. You're eating Well, everything. I did it today. That's, that, that's uh, answer enough. I think this boy is the boy that was quite a singer, Miss Kuhlman, before yes, that's he had right. this I've, accident. Yes, and, and uh, I'm just trusting the Lord now that my voice will come back completely, too, through this. And dear Jesus, just perfect that which thou hast begun. As the power of the Holy Spirit has gone through this body. Amen. He's the son of a Baptist Amen. minister who was listed in who's who, Miss Coop. The Baptist minister, his father. Yes. Listed in who's who. And he won a top award for his voice. The reason I know is because I talked to his father today in my office. We've been <laughs> praising God all day long because oh. we knew it was completed. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> and your father knows about this. Well, my father didn't know what was all going on either. Apparently he's taken it by faith and told you about it. <laughs> Is your father yeah, here? Man. Somewhere out here. Uh, there he is, right oh, through there, Miss Kuhlman. Come here, well, the father, come here. Come on, come here. And is this all new to your father, too? No, he was, he, he's experienced revival in his ministry in 1950. We saw marvelous outpouring of the Holy Spirit just when I was a young and child. And you're a Baptist minister. Yes, amen. From Canada. Yeah, the loves the Lord. <laughs> Tell me about your son. Did you know he was experiencing this? Not altogether. I realized that he was experiencing some things yesterday. When you spoke of someone who had been healed of emphysema, the Lord spoke to me and said, that's your son. And I said, thank you, Lord. But I didn't know all that was happening. So you're hearing some of this for the very first time? Some of it. Oh, isn't the God. power of God Amen. marvelous? God is good. God is so good. God is so good. Amen. I give you praise as resurrection power Amen. just flows through these bodies as the power of the Holy Ghost flows through these bodies. Oh, then go, there's a power that's on this precious one. What about right now that's a power that's going through this body? I know that's power, that's power, that's power. Ooh, it, that's power, that's power. She's under God. Hey man, hang on, Gene. <laughs> These people are not really drunk, Miss Coven. The preacher preached last night on being drunk with new wife. For this other boy, you know, yeah, that was here. The, the what, Gene? She was praying, she needed a healing for emphysema and a dozen other things, but she was praying for this young man that was just healed and said, God, I'd rather you heal him than me. And, then what happened? and when he came up here and went under the power, then the power came upon her and she's been marvelously healed, but she's so under the power we can't get her up here to tell us. <laughs> You know, Ralph, I think it was like this in the early church, don't you? Well, the Bible says that uh, they never saw it on this fashion before, and I think they can say that about this meeting. And, and you don't know something. I came in here tonight, really, I was going to do a little preachy. <laughs> but you, you, look at her. What's the, what's the matter, honey? What's the matter? What, what, Listen, if you've never seen the power of God, did you expect all this? <laughs> <laughs> and a holy laughter came upon her, and then it came upon Ruth Fisher, too, at the same time, when back here in the back. I believe in that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her better eyes. <laughs> you know that's something. And you were not expecting this. 
Are you from Canada too? Where are you from? Where are you from? I live here, uh, Indiana. She, she said, I live here. Indiana. She's from originally from Indiana, she says. She said, I am. <laughs> this is glory. Have you never experienced anything like this in your life before? No. She said, no. Where do you go to church? Oh, I went to this church Sunday. She went to our church Sunday. Well, where'd you go before that? Well, I used to go to the Baptist church in Preston, but I've been ill for over four months. And then she said, I used to go to the Baptist church in Texas. In Texas. Preston. Preston, that's right here by us, Miss Tooman. She used to go to the Baptist church. I've been church ill for four months in bed. Yeah, and so you haven't gone to church for the past four months. You couldn't. My heart can And you've never experienced anything like this before in your life. The power of God in your body. Never. <laughs> well, the, come on. Let, let, let us walk, shall we? Come on. Let, 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 happy for that little boy. She's so happy for that little boy, Miss Cooman. They saw them bring him in. See, she said, I'm so happy for that little boy who, whose uh, legs straightened and who could stand on his feet. You saw them bring this boy in. And I told my friend, I would rather the Lord heal him than me. And I would heal him. I was so happy. You know that scripture, Miss Kuma, says, pray you one for another that ye may be healed. <laughs> She is sitting down right now. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this service anyway. Praise God. I, uh, this, you don't need me. <laughs> when you have the presence of the Holy Spirit, you have everything. You don't need anything else. And it's just like that. And that which is happening here Tonight in Melody Land should be happening in every church in America. This is something that is. Okay, but you're in one. There she goes. I don't know if she's going to make it off or not. <laughs> That's power. Let her go. <laughs> <laughs> she's jumping. <laughs> I've and never you seen haven't that. seen anything no, like this. No, not like that one. That one was different. That's power. And yet the Holy Spirit doesn't always deal in the same way with individuals. Have you noticed that, Ralph? I think the spontaneity of a spirit-led service is the most thrilling thing in the world. So do I. Just take it off. And Thank make, you, Jesus. I know that's glory on you. Oh, that's glory. He can never say again that nothing ever happens to him, you know it? You know, Miss Scoobin, some people don't know why we laugh. They think maybe it's sacrilegious, but it's the most holy laughter in all the world because it's the joy of the Lord. There's something different about this laughter in here uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. There is something different about it. It's the joy of the Lord. This place is literally filled with the joy of the Lord. And... and <laughs> <laughs> Oh, praise God. What happened? <laughs> they haven't been able to find out. She's been laughing. She's so happy she doesn't know what it is. People on the if they haven't caught this wonderful spirit in here, they won't understand, will they? No, I hope the radio friends that are listening, you forgot all about radio, didn't you? I hope they realize that it's an atmosphere and it's not a show. And it's not something we're entertaining. I'll but tell you right Jesus. now, they've never had anything like this in Melody Land before, I'll <laughs> tell you that. I believe that. This is just the beginning of what we're going to have a lot of in Melody Land. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs>
The sweetest melody in the world is being heard in this place tonight. This is for the very first time a real place of melody. This heavenly laughter. This is the joy of the Lord. Foot's been healed, her hip's been healed, her heart's been healed. No wonder she's laughing. Her foot, her hip, and her heart, she says. Oh, and then this holy power came up upon her. Pick, pick up the leg. Which hip, honey? This one. And there's no pain there at all. Oh, the glory that is on this woman is something. Praise God. That's what it's like in here. What is this? Her ear opened. Her left ear. Her ear opened. Her left, left ear. ear opened. Yeah, I, I really got to say, God, God, God did it. Man, he, he's so beautiful. How many people could feel How long have you been deaf in that ear? All my life. <laughs> Hold the right ear tightly closed. Do you hear me out of that ear? Yeah, I hear you. You hear me now? Yeah. You hear me now? Yeah. Do you still hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me whisper? I hear you whisper. You hear me now? I hear you now. Were you born deaf in that ear? Yes, I was. Have you never heard out of that ear? No, I was. I haven't. Do you have that ear tightly closed, the yes, other one? Yes, I have. You sure? Yeah. You hear me now? I hear you now. You hear me perfectly. I hear you perfectly. I love Jesus. Dear Jesus, I give you praise in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What is this? I know, and there's power on this young man, Jesus, right now. The power of the Holy Spirit. There, somebody else got an ear open at the same time that this ear was open. There's another somebody whose ear was open. Hold your good ear shut. Wherever you are, hold the good ear tightly closed because somebody hears me. Maggie, there's glory on that person. There's go She went down before she ever got up here, Miss Coleman. It's that way all over this place. This is glory in here. Here comes... Have you ever seen anything like this, Ray? No, no. Have you ever? <laughs> Hang on to her, fellas. It's what? Ruptured disc. Ruptured disc. Are you Presbyterian? No. Look at this. She's supposed to go to the neurosurgeon tomorrow. And is, is what? It's ruptured disc. One ruptured, they don't know whether the two others besides. I don't know what to do. No. Look, just, had, you've never had an experience like this. No, but you know, I was healed once before. Of what? I had a big rash and back injury. Bend over right now. Just, just bend. Complex. Is there no pain there at all? No. No pain. I know she's a, just a part of God all over me. Bend over again. Just bend completely over. And is there no pain? No. And it's a ruptured disc and maybe two. Yes. Two more. And, and, and you're scheduled for surgery? Well, not exactly scheduled. You want to see me tomorrow. Tomorrow you go back to your doctor. And you'll find out that there's not, well, he'll find that there's not one thing wrong with you. Do everything you could not have done without pain. Well, I just couldn't walk. She said, well, I just, just couldn't, couldn't walk. walk. You just couldn't walk? Well, you're doing mighty well now. Just keep on walking, honey. Just keep right on walking. Come on, just keep right on walking. Come on, you can walk. No pain. No pain at all. None. Just bend completely over. Just bend completely All the way to the floor again. <laughs> yeah, hang on. What is this over here? He looks like he's six foot six, Miss Coolman. Well, all, all, all six foot six are going to be flat on the on the floor in just a minute. Okay, there's a then go there's a power of God on this one. Just rink in at the holiness of the Holy Spirit. There it is. That's it. 
all how really is. You see, it's one thing to talk about the Holy Spirit. But it's another thing to see his power in action. What could be more wonderful in this clinic than this? That's it. What could be more wonderful than just what we're seeing tonight? Something else is happening down there. Th there are services all over this melody. I see just little groups all over the place, Miss Coven, where something's happening right now. And what is it? Asthma. Asthma? Breathe deeply. Right now, the power of God just goes through your body. Just breathe deeply as the power of the Holy Spirit just goes through your body. Take it all right now. Just take it all right now as the power of God just goes through your body. Every trace of this asthma goes in Jesus' mighty name. Every trace of it goes. Take it right now in the name of Jesus. What is this? That's a hearing case, Miss Goodman. She's bringing her glasses that has a hearing aid in it. Here is a woman that has been brought up. Here are her glasses. This is, look at this, this young man is six foot six. He's, he's still under, standing up here beside you. No, look at this. No one in the early church, they accused him of being. That's why there was no room in the place. Something was happening, Miss Cooper. Oh. They didn't have room for all of them. That's right, and was noised about. Oh, there's so much. Look, there he goes again. I, I, I know. <laughs> oh, how blessed the Lord is. Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I am very happy. I'm very happy. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. With all of my heart. With all my heart. And dear Jesus, we give you the praise for having opened this ear. We give you the glory forever and ever. Here are your glasses, honey, with the hearing aid in. And Jesus is the one who did it. Give him the praise for it. What is this? A spur on her toe. A spur on her toe. Oh, listen, this is glory on this woman. And this woman is the most surprised. This is one of the most unlikely. That's glory. Take it all. As the power of God just goes through this. And, and which foot? Which one? Right toe. Right toe. Right toe. Stop on it right now. Harder yet. Is there any pain there at all? No pain. Not at all. Jesus, the power of God just goes through. Oh, praise God. This is something anybody in this place can receive. What is this, Maggie? Come here. Oh, Miss Coomin, I know this case. She came from our church in Topeka. I've known this child for many years. <laughs> oh, I know this. Look at the hearing aid. This she's, had, well, she's had this case a long time. Her parents have just recently people. moved out here. But her father was a deacon in my church when I was in Topeka, Kansas. So you've known her since oh, yes. a little girl? Oh, yes. known her for years. How old are you now? Eighteen. And how long have you worn a hearing aid? Well, I've had it since March. Since March. But you've, been, been you've had deafness for how long? Well, ever since I can remember. Ever since you can remember? I remember this little girl so many times. We prayed about her hearing. It was such a serious case. You hear me now? Yes. You hear me now? Yes. I'm standing behind you, honey. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you hear everything that I say? Yes. Reverend Mr. Wilkerson is holding your hearing aid. Do, do, do you hear me now? Yes. And I'm way behind you. Do you still hear me? Yes. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you hear me whisper? Yes. Do you hear me now? Yes. Say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I am very happy. I am very happy. I give Jesus all the praise. Oh, I know that's glory. <laughs> oh, that's glory. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. That's power. Names are Millers. Wonderful. So many times we prayed for this girl. Have you? Now and tonight, this. see this. This is wonderful. This is glory. This is glory. There's another spy meeting that's been here. The person must know about it. Yes. Yeah, I've had, we prayed for it. There's another spine healing that's been healed. 
The person has gotten a marvelous healing for his spine. It's another spinal condition. I mean, the power of God will remain on you for days. I'm talking to the same young lady. You hear me when I'm way back at you now? Yes. You hear me now? Yes. And it's distinct. You, you can hear me distinctly, right? Yes. I'm way behind you. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you still hear me? Yes. I'm way over here. Do you still hear me? Yes. Do you hear me distinctly? Do you hear me plainly? Yes. Is it just as though you've never had deafness? Of course, you don't know what it's like. Do you don't know what is normal, do you, honey? No. <laughs> you don't know what it is to have normal hearing. No. Do you realize this, Ralph? We were you born with this, with the deafness. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that uh, my mother said that I hadn't been able to talk after I had chicken pox. Oh, you haven't been able to. Speak correctly. She needs to turn that thing off, Miss Coolman. Is that what? That's thing squealing, and, and that's what it is. Turn the thing off. She's lying. It's in her hand. And and you can hear it. This is glory on this young lady. Who's getting the overflow from this? But for this healing, somebody's getting the overflow from this. I don't know who it is. Trace. But there's another ear that has been opened. There's somebody else. I've got to get this spine. Uh, the spinal condition. There is another, is that arthritis of the spine? Where are you? Put a hand up high enough so I can see it. There's another healing for arthritis of the spine. Where are you? And the person is completely healed. That's all that I know. The person has gotten a perfect healing and it's a spinal healing. Where is it? Just stand up. Just stand up. High enough so I can see you. Where where is it? It has to do with the spine. That's all that I know. Over here to your right, Miss Kuhlman. Where right are you? Through here. Wave at me. Wait. Way back here to the back. She's standing up, but she can't get up here. The power's on her so strong. Uh, somebody back there. Help me if you will, please. That's right. Help this young man up if you will, please. Come on, young man. Oh, he's enjoying it. This is the six foot six. I want the Lord to touch my father. He wants the Lord to touch his father, Miss Goo. He doesn't know Jesus. He doesn't know Jesus. He's at work now. I want him to be saved and know Jesus. Dear Jesus, just now touch this father wherever he is. Oh, That's Jesus. it. And save his soul for Jesus' sake. Yes, Jesus, he needs you, Lord. Just go slip back to your seat and, and, and just believe Jesus for it. Just believe Jesus. What is this back here? And the power that's of God the spinal is on that woman. That's all that I know. And the power of God. Bring that woman here just a minute, if you will, please. Just bring that one here. Something has... I know those people are un, under the power in such a way that they can't even get up here. I've got to go back again. The Holy Spirit prompts me. There is somebody who's not been able to kneel. Tell me, what is that? Somebody's received healing for knees and you were not able to kneel. Where is that one? Let me pause just a minute. Who got that healing? Somebody who was not able to kneel. Where are you? Put up a hand high enough so I can see it. Who got that healing and is for the knees? And it's completely gone. That's all that I know. It is completely gone from the knees. And uh, uh, right through here, that spine healing, it's through this section. It's right through here. That spine healing is through here. Whoever got that healing is through this part of the auditorium. That's all that I know. There's another heart healing that somebody has received, and there's a heart healing through here, too. I'd like to get through it because there are several healings right in here. There's a healing of a heart condition. Somebody through there with a heart condition has been completely healed. <coughs> and that spine healing. There's also something directly behind me, if the person will 
take it, they'll receive their healing. Come on, in Jesus' mighty name, sir. In Jesus' mighty name, as the power of God goes through this body. It's an older man coming. Will you carry him here today? How did you come? His lovely wife brought him here. Pick up your legs right now. Is this arthritis? Arthritis. Pick up those legs right now. Pick them up higher. Pick them up still higher. How long have they had this arthritis? Pick them up right now. Just pick them up still higher. Still higher. Bend them all the way back, sir. Just bend them all the way back. Bend He's them. He's going all down on his knees, Miss Coolman. Ben, is that something you could not have done? Couldn't have done before a little while ago. You could not have done it. Go down again. Go down again on your knees. Was that absolutely impossible? Impossible. impossible. I didn't sleep all night. Several nights now. Was that little, impossible? Little to sleep. Jesus, right now the power of the Holy Ghost just goes through this body. Pick them up again. Just pick them up. Walk with me right now. Just walk with me. There's somebody else down there who's really getting blessed. Just quiet, honey. Just quiet. Just Praise God. Somebody has gotten this. What is this, Maggie? Girlfriend of the one that received the healing. And he's polio, honey. And the legs. Looks like she's about 17. She's running, Miss Cooman. And the power of God just came from this young lady. What is it? Emphysema. And you're completely gone. As the power of the Holy Ghost just goes through this body. Every trace of this emphysema goes. In the name of Jesus. What is this? I know that's power that's still on this woman. This lady here, Miss Coomer, has been in the hospital more than she's been out. Which one? The one that's lying here. I know. I know that glory on this woman, we give you praise. We give you praise as the power of God just goes through this body. As the power of the Holy Spirit. Just stand there, honey, and just breathe deeply. That's glory on you. The power of God will remain on you for the next 54 hours, honey. Don't be afraid of his power. His resurrection power goes through this body. Oh, I know the power is on both of us. What is this? Which knee was this? One that Bend it right now. Oh. How long has it been since you've been able to kneel? Six months. I fell three times, one after another, last winter in the rain down my and steps. And it was impossible for you to I, kneel? With, yes, it was swollen. I, I you could pain. not? No, it was too much pain. Is there no pain there at all? No, no, none at all. Are you surprised? <laughs> yes, I wasn't thinking about it. I was praying for salvation for my son. I want my son to be saved. And in that moment, you found out you were completely healed? Yes, there's no... There's Bend it. Oh, look at her. She, right she's kneeling. Both, and she nailed immediately. And there's no pain there. No. All right, stand. J just get right up. Was that impossible for you to have done? Without pain, yes. And uh, la last night, my son, my other son, was coming back from Mexico. Jesus, I give you praise. Is a power of yes. yes. As through this body. <laughs> and you know something, Ralph? We both consider ourselves very dignified, do you know that? I'm embarrassed sometimes, but I know it's God, so I can't be embarrassed, you know? 
I know so well, me too. Because I don't believe in excess excessive emotionalism, and I know you don't either. I don't, Ralph. I don't, but this is God. Who's somebody going to do with it? Praise the Lord for it. And it's all over Melody Land. Praise God. And what is this? Sprain back. Sprain back. Bend over right now. Is it completely gone? Bend over again, honey. Like a young lady, about 20. Where do you go to church? 16. 16? Are you 16 years of age? Were you expecting this tonight? She said yes. <laughs> Jesus said you gave her what she Praise needed. God for his faithfulness. What is it? This is the spine injury. Bend over. I Just a young girl, too. I wish you could see this. The mascara is just running down her face. But the smile, Miss Coogan. And the smile is so beautiful. And the glory that's on her. Bend over again. And there's no pain. I got it after I had my baby. They tapped my spine. They tapped your spine? Uh, after you had your baby. Uh, and then after I had her, had her, every time I went to pick her up, I'd get in this position and pain would shoot up and down my back. Bend over again. And is there no pain? No pain. Jesus just thanks. We give you the praise. Praise God. Well, this is glory in here. Anybody in this auditorium can receive anything. Understand something. Some may have come in here tonight and do not understand what is happening. Remember something. God the Father is seated upon his throne. I like to think of him as being the big boss. God Almighty. In position of great high priest is the only begotten son seated upon his right hand. But in this place is the Holy Spirit. You and I cannot see the Holy Spirit. That glorious scripture, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh. The Holy Spirit is just moving in this place. We cannot see him. I cannot see him, you cannot see him, but this is the moving of the Holy Ghost in this place. And it's all over this place. Praise God. We can look out of the window and we can see the leaves moving. But you cannot see the wind. You can feel the gentle breeze but you cannot see the wind. You and I cannot see the Holy Spirit in this place tonight, but Melody Land is filled with the glory and the power of the third person, the Trinity. I believe that. This place is just saturated. If you do not feel his presence, beloved, there's something wrong with you. What's happened over here? It's a brain tumor. Headaches. Brain tumor. Brain tumor. And, and, and this is your... One of our gals that we've been praying for this for a priest years. that I know, Miss Kuhlman. You are a priest? Yes. And this is a member of your parish? Our parish. And she's had brain tumor and several surgeries. She said the pain has been lifted tonight for the first time in a long, long while. And she feels the power of the Lord. And Father, here. you know all about this, don't you? Yes. Yes. Praise God. Dear Jesus, thank you. There's power upon this young lady. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, every trace of this condition. Oh, Father, there's the presence of the Holy Ghost on you in such a... St oh, Father. <laughs> he goes down smiling, Miss Coolman. Spirit of the Lord. It's so beautiful. This so beautiful. This is what I'm talking about. The wind bloweth, Father. Oh, 
it's, it's glory. It is glory, Father. Praise God. This is glory. This is what they had in the upper room. This is what happened in the house of Cornelius. It's the same Holy Spirit. This Father is what Jesus left the church. Before he went away, love is something that you do. You can't help loving without giving. And this Father is what the Holy Spirit, this is what Jesus left the church. This glorious power of the Holy Ghost, and ye shall receive power. Praise God. Praise After God. that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Praise God. <laughs> it's something, oh. Father, we can't explain, something that can't be analyzed, but it's as real as God himself. This shall happen in every Jewish synagogue. This shall happen in every Protestant church. In the last days, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And we vow to give you the praise. Amen. We are one in Christ Jesus. We are one. Oh, I cannot tell you. The blessing of God. Father, just praise the Lord. That's all I can tell you. Just praise him. And out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. God has an unusual work for you to do, Father. God has an unusual work for you to do. Donnie, somebody hold Donnie right now. Oh, praise so, God. Somebody hold Donnie. <laughs> no pain. Honey, is there no pain? You came down to St. I remember. I came down to pray for her one time, Miss Kuhlman. It and was so serious. Tell me, this is what? A brain, brain tumor. And it was so serious. The doctors, of course, have all the records on this case. The pastor here. Knows and about you're it too. completely without pain. No pain anywhere in your body. None. Is this unusual for you to be without pain? I have, I've had a headache for three years. Have you been without pain for three years, except no. under sedation? None. You had to be under sedation she to be without head, yes. pain. Right. And this is the first time without any sedation that, that, that you've been without pain. This is marvelous. This Beautiful. is marvelous. Father, every trace. Praise the God. power will continue upon her for days. But Father, you understand the power of the Holy Spirit. And Get Father, we commit this one unto you and we vow to give you the praise. That's one thing you'll not share with any human being, and that's the praise and the glory. And we vow to give you the glory forever and ever. Amen. Oh, God bless you. It's wonderful to the Spirit of you, Father. That's glorious. What is it? Born with a hole in her heart. Oh, it's gone. Born with a hole in her heart. Oh, it's gone. Oh, and, and, and a doctor is with this one. A doctor is with this one, the power of the Holy Spirit, and, and the doctor is going on in the power, and so is this. She's born with the hole in her heart, Miss Goodman. She says she feels it's completely all right now. Did you ever go to a service like this? Only when I've come to the shrine. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Sores all over his arms from working in plastics. plastics. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see this sores and, and the just about red. Gone. They are. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Look at there, will you? Tell <laughs> Pastor Wilkerson. Tell. Beautiful. Well, where well, do you work? I used to uh, I used to be a plastic tool builder, and it it, it it caused me to break out in my arms, and and now it's all gone. Has it been where all over your arms for eight years? Eight years, sir. Where do you live? You live in Long Beach. And has it been very painful? It did get quite painful at times. Oh, glory to God. Dear Jesus, just thank <laughs> <this day. laughs> Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is so real. Isn't that a wonderful foot healing? Foot healing. Come here, 
Jean, she's had tell about this. healing all over her body and, and in her feet. Me yesterday, and, I, and then I couldn't walk. I've had spinal trouble for 30 Are years. Are you from Australia? Yes, dear, I'm an evangelist. I didn't want to come out, and the Lord says they won't come out to me if I don't come out to you. And the power of God is on you. Oh, Jesus. And the healing, and the healing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the we've Spirit of the Lord. We've had them from Egypt tonight. We've had them healed from Australia tonight. We've had them healed from Canada tonight. You know it? In even Anaheim. <laughs> <laughs> that is glory. Do you know this lady? Yes, I know. She's in their prayer group. These are Church of Christ people, Miss Coomer. They have are a prayer group. Church of Christ people. Her Used husband was a an elder for many years. In she the wouldn't Church come out until I. She wouldn't come she, except through. My ancestors. Huh? I know when there's glory on you too. Praise I give God. you praise, dear praise Jesus. God. The power of God's on this precious one. Praise God. Oh, God is faithful. We have nothing to do with this. What is this? Oh, this is my head usher. Miss Kuhlman, he would not even be here if God had not lifted him up one time in the hospital. I know this. And what happened tonight? Well, I had a feeling that they had a lot of glands just uh, caused from leukemia, and I was supposed to take treatment next week, but I think they're gone. Is this your head usher? Yes, he's done a wonderful job, Miss Kuhlman. Yeah, this was my neighbor. When we moved out on East Street, God brought this whole family in, first family. There well, you go. Your head usher right now is on the flat of his back. Yes, I know that. <laughs> Beautiful. And this is your head usher, and this is not like him. Oh, no, they're very conservative people. They're Methodists. You mean this is a conservative man? Absolutely. This is, this is why I have him a head usher. I want somebody I can depend on, you know. But you got him. <laughs> and you've been Methodist I'm until Methodist you came. I've been Methodist all my life until I came to the Christian Center Church. We moved right next door to them, and they were the first family in the neighborhood that came and to the church. And this is very unlike this man. Well, I've never seen him. Uh, well, well, he's <laughs> This is the last person in the world, Ralph, that you would have ever suspected. And he comes up shouting hallelujah. Have you ever heard him shout before? Well, I've seen him praise the Lord, but I've never seen him do this before. And this is so wonderful, sir. D d describe this feeling. What is it like, sir, being under the power of God? Now, you're a Methodist. Wonderful. <laughs> what is the feeling? Well, I don't think I ever had anything like this before in my life. Not as a Methodist. Let's put it that way. Oh, and the, I w wish I could describe. I wish I had the vocabulary to express w and describe what I see around his glory around this man. Praise God. Is the power of the Holy uh, Ghost. I'll never forget the night, Miss Kuman, when he was almost dead. You don't know the medical history on this man. And this is a real testimony tonight. The whole church has been praying for him. For this man? Oh, yes. Praise God. Tonight Something is your night. Wonderful. You just can't believe it, sir. No, sir. I can't. <laughs> uh, next week I was supposed to try, uh, take treatments, but I don't need it now. I don't think I need it now. Move your neck to the heart. I don't think I need it now. Look <laughs> at that smile. The great physician has done the work. It certainly has. Praise the, the Lord. The great physician has done the oh, work. Oh, praise God. Two up and down at once. God is so faithful. He said, how do you feel? <laughs> this is one of your rushers, Miss Kuhlman. Here's Mr. Bennett, a big contractor. Hey, Mr. Bennett. Yeah. Oh. These are conservative people. Ralph, these are the most conservative people in the Los Angeles area. His wife is uh, vice president, uh, superintendent of a school. And you didn't get close to either one of them. You know, some people say, oh, you pushed them over, but you didn't get close to them. I know. 
And, and, and your head usher said nobody pushed me over, he said. No, I've seen people try to push him over. They don't. <laughs> I'm talking about people at the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they just don't. No. What, honey? Well, here comes somebody crying. What, honey? She just received her sight. Oh, she's Who's crying. with her? Don't cry, honey. She looks like she's about how old, honey? Who's with 17? her? Seventeen. Eighteen and a half. Who's with you, honey? Someone's coming. There's a lady coming down the aisle. Is she related to you? Who is she? Who is this? Are you related to her? No. No Don't religion. Do you know her? I do. I took care. I'm a nurse. You're a nurse? Yes, I have been taking care of several And tell me about her sight. I really can't tell anything about her sight, but I've taken care of her family, and I know her family. And I know she hasn't have been seen. You know she hasn't been seen? Yes. Are you a nurse for the family? Yeah, I've been a nurse. I have to you several times. I'm Rosa from Burbank. Honey, do you and see me perfectly? I, I yes. Do you see me now? Mm-hmm. Can you see my hand? How many fingers? Five. Do you have a glass that you used to see? No, I will go down and get her glass, then you will see. Where something. do you go to church, honey? We go to the Lutheran church. The Lutheran church. Is this all new to you? She Is this the first head. time you've ever seen anything like this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, she says. Uh, this is, how old are you? I'm 18 and a half. She's 18 and a half. They go to a Lutheran church. She's with the family nurse. That's the family nurse with you. And this is the first time you've ever been in a service like this. You've never seen anything like this in your life. I haven't seen too much more. Bring it. Look. Can you see my fingers? How many, honey? Well, look at that, Miss Coombe. Look at this. Describe it, Ralph. Well, this is a huge magnifying glass that's hooked on to her regular glasses, and it protrudes out about, uh, I'd say, at least over half an inch. Is there a medical uh, man here? C come here. Who Dr. Can Barry can describe it better than Dr. I. Dr. Barry, uh, describe uh, these glasses. Describe that. I've never seen a lens as uh, much uh, in magnification as this. Uh, this is for someone who is almost totally blind. And the magnification in this lens is, is terrific. And to wear something like this means that they have almost no vision in this eye. Look at her face. That's all you have to do is to look at her face. And she came up all alone. Yeah. Th there was no worker. She came up to the stage all alone, smiling, without glasses. She left the nurse back there. You didn't even know she was coming. She was sitting right behind me because she said... Did she say anything to you before she came? No, she she, she just came alone. Honey, you just realized when you took off these terrific... Just her, her glasses she wears. The, uh, these terrific magnifying glasses that you could see. Mm -hmm. How many fingers? Yeah, one. How many now? None. How many now? Two. How many now? Two. What are they? Two thumbs. Put your finger on my nose. Come on. Put your finger on my She's nose. She's following Miss Kuhlman now. Put your finger on my nose. Put your finger on my nose. She's following her all over the platform. So happy. There she touched her nose. Miss Kuhlman touched Can her back. Do you back. see my face perfectly? Do you see me perfectly? You mean perfectly? You can see my hair. 
You see, you see me just as though you had never had blindness. And you're seeing me without any magnifying glasses, nothing. How many fingers now? I have ten. How many now? None. How many now? Five. How many now? None. How many now? One. Follow me again. Come on. Come on, just follow me again. Just follow me again. Follow me again. And you sing perfectly. She's shaking her head, yes. Can you see the colors over here? Can you see the colors on that dress? Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. What color? She, Describe she it. Pink color, a little bit, and green. Where's the green? Right there. And where's the pink? Pink's there. That's right. What does she have around her neck? Necklace. What color is the necklace? White. Can you tell the color of this man's jacket? Can you tell? Can you see the, uh, the color of his jacket? That Can would you? be yellow, I think, a little bit. That's right. Praise God. I admit this is God. Put up a hand. Praise God. And you've never been in anything like this, and you know very little about divine healing, right? Yeah. I've had 20% of my vision all my life. That's all? Yeah, I mean, that's all you've ever had. And that's in both eyes. Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, that's all we can say is thanks. We give you the honor. We give you the glory, the power of God. The power is just on this young lady in a beautiful way. Jesus, I give you praise. I give you glory. I dedicate this young life to you. Use it for your glory. Jesus loves you, honey. Jesus loves you. Do you know anything about being born again? I've had a little bit of religious training at home. You've had a little bit of religious training at home. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about giving Jesus your heart? Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about saying, dear Jesus, forgive my sins? Mm -hmm. And in that moment, Jesus forgives your sins. Mm -hmm. Who's taught you in your home? Your father or your mother? Both parents. And they're Lutheran. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to school, honey? I graduated from Glendale High. And you're so hungry for Jesus. You love him, don't you? Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, give her that beautiful experience right now where she'll know that she'll know that she'll know that she's passed from death unto life. Granted, amen. Wouldn't it be wonderful if this very moment your father and mother were listening in? Mm -hmm. They could be listening in, couldn't they? Go on back and give Jesus all the praise and all the glory. Beautiful, Miss Coomin. Reverently, all the glory. Miss this doctor examined my head, Usher. I didn't know this. What'd you say, Dr. Barry? When we came into service last night. last night, he was telling me that he had taken his week's vacation so that he could go and get x-ray therapy and x-ray treatment all week, every day, and I examined him and felt the enlarged lymph nodes in his neck at that time, and now I don't feel them. Praise God. And the doctor is examining him right now. Yes, I could feel all the enlarged nodes, and they were very painful. As I would press on them, he told me that it hurt, and he'd already scheduled his appointments to go in for right. x-ray therapy That's every right. day next week every day next week. And now I don't feel the nodes. There's her, uh, there's That's his, my wife. His, his wife's standing there, Miss Coon. Healed at the same the, time. What Ruth next, from the, all the tension of this, she's been in traction with the neck and spine and she's been completely relieved. Is this your wife? Are you married to her? 30 years. <laughs> and you mean at the same oh, the, time. The power of God came on her. No one can 
doubt the You didn't power finish of that interview, Miss Cooper. I certainly didn't, and I didn't get near. Just, just, 